Hello, I'm going to describe and demonstrate thin film interference. Uh, here I have a diagram showing a thin film, such as a film of oil on top of a uh, puddle of water or pool of water, such as we might find in a parking lot where we have a puddle of water with a thin film of oil on top of it. And uh, white light comes down and goes off in such a way that one, re one beam reflects from the top surface, another beam goes through that thin film and reflects, reflects from the bottom surface of that thin film and goes back up and meets this top beam. Those two beams will be either, either in phase or out of phase depending upon four variables. Those four variables being the thickness of the film, the wavelength of light, the index of refraction of the film, and... Uh, the angle at which you observe this. So the greater the angle, the greater the effective thickness of the thin film, which would be, in this case, oil. Now we can have uh, thin films of other materials. We can have a thin film such as we have on an abalone shell. Here I have a, uh, an abalone shell, and we see that if we look at that from different angles, we change the effective thickness, and where white light comes up, Different colors get reflected depending upon the angle at which we view that and the thickness of the various uh, parts of the films that are on that uh, abalone shell. Here's another one where we have some oxide on a piece of copper, and we see that thin film of oxide will reflect light in such a way that some colors will be reflected in some directions, other colors in other directions, depending upon the thickness of the film and depending upon the angle that we view that from. So there are other ways that we can uh, demonstrate thin film interference as well. Next what I'd like to do is take a look at uh, an actual film of oil on top of a pool of water. So here I have a tray of water and a can of oil and I'm going to drop uh, just one drop of oil on that water and we're going to watch that oil spread out and we should see it burst into color as we see thin film interference with white light coming up and various colors coming off in different directions depending upon the effective thickness of the film of oil on top of that uh, surface of water. And we see the oil spread and we see it burst into uh, color. Uh, next what I'd like to do is go outside and we're going to look in the daylight at some other additional examples of thin film interference. So uh, now I have the oil can in my hand and we have a nice puddle of water here from a previous uh, rainstorm today and I'm going to drop uh, some oil onto that puddle of water and we're going to watch uh, what happens. Uh, we see the oil spreading and uh, the colors are changing. Again, uh, the bright colors uh, are where we have constructive interference and the, uh, the dark colors or the dim colors are where we have destructive interference. We have constructive interference at a given location for one color and uh, destructive interference for another color at that same location. So we see the beautiful colors, the reds, the greens, the violets, the blues, uh, the yellows, the oranges, all the colors of the rainbow show up in that uh, thin film interference pattern, oil on the surface of water.